So in my last video, I briefly mentioned the Mary Kay eye primer. And this is what it looks like. Now that I've had the opportunity to use it a couple of times, I'd like to give it a formal review. So first, let's talk about the price. It costs $12, and this is, let's see, this is three-tenths of an ounce of product, which is pretty typical. I have containers for other primers so that you can get a comparison. The NYX primer is uh, 0.28 ounces, so that's just about three-tenths. And then the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer is also three-tenths of an ounce. And then the only one that has a lot is the Coastal Sense Shadow Works Primer, and this one has 0.67 ounces of product. So they're all about the same size, but this one, the Mary Kay, costs $12. I've found that it's really effective. Uh, it, has a, oh, it has a weird texture to it. Like I said, it's like Elmer's School Glue in its texture, and that's really strange to me, but I'm not knocking it. It works. It doesn't have any weird smell. Um, it just leaves kind of like a tacky, it leaves a tackiness um, to accept your eye color, which is good. The packaging is better to me than these other two eyeshadow primers that I have religiously used in the past. And the reason is because these come with a wand, so you're having to, you know, dip it in and dip it out. And then it's like you don't get all of the product in there because you're like trying to scoop it in and scrape it out. This is in a tube, so you just squeeze as much product as you need. You don't waste anything. And also, I feel like I have a better chance of getting every last drop of this. So the packaging gets a nine in my book, and it's really, it's really slim and smooth, so it's just like, it's almost like a tube of lip gloss. Um, so the packaging gets a nine. The price gets a seven for me, $12. I mean, that's cheaper than, let's see, Urban Decay is, I think it's like $18 now. This NYX is only seven bucks, but I found that Mary Kay, even though Mary Kay is $5 more, it works a little bit better than the NYX. Um, and all of these work better than Shadow Works by Coastal Sense. I'm sorry, I used to love this. I used to use it religiously, but I found things that work better, so I kind of phased it out a little bit. Every now and then I'll bust it out um, when I'm not really doing much with my face or if I'm not going anywhere or if I know I'm only going to be wearing my makeup for a couple hours, I'll use Coastal Scents. But Mary Kay is pretty good stuff. And the last thing is efficacy, which I've already mentioned, but I'm going to give that one a 9. So a 7, a 9, and a 9, I would give this an overall score of 8. This was not a paid review, but she did give me this product for free. Would I purchase it? Most certainly. Um, when I run out of primer, because <laughs> I have a lot as you can see, um, I will definitely look into getting some of that because it's good stuff. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is my hair color because I've gotten a lot of emails and a lot of questions about what color my hair is. My hair is naturally really a really dark brown. I think, I guess you would liken it unto 1B. You know how you get the weave colors? It's like 1B naturally. Um, and that's the only way I know that is by like lifting it up and looking up underneath. Hold on, let me turn around so you can see. Up underneath, you see how black it is right there. It's super dark. But that's the only part of my hair, that's the only portion of my hair that is still virgin. The rest of it has been colored. And my most recent color, believe it or not, was this weekend. I did a highlight touch up. Um, I was inspired by my cousin's hair. If you saw her prom video, she has like the front part of her hair colored and then the back part is her natural color. And I was like, ooh, that is so cute. So I sectioned out a few pieces and I highlighted them and then I said, you know what, I'm just going to slather the dye over the whole front portion of my head. I had the back in a ponytail and I just left the front free. And my hair is so dye resistant that it really didn't take well. It did take a bit, 
but I wanted the results to be a little bit more dramatic than they were. Womp womp. It's not the end of the world. I will survive. I'm not gonna color my hair again probably until the fall because I colored it, if you remember, I colored it in January. I gave myself some highlights and then I did, you know, some more highlights. The grays are taking over. Look at all that gray. Great googly moogly. I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I really don't think I would look good as a blonde. So I'm gonna stick with this brunette uh, business. The brand of color that I use is Clairol Textures and Tones, and I've got a picture to post. And I'll turn around so you can see it again now that we've talked about what color I am. You can see it a little bit better when I turn to the side. Hopefully you can see all of that. I can't think of anything else to tell you guys. I hope that you're not mad at me. Um, I'm sorry for not posting in so long. <laughs> but like I said, I was just trying to live. Can I live? But uh, I missed you. And I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for telling all your friends about Shame I Am Glam. I'm super excited about the first anniversary. Um, you guys are just amazing. And um, I hope that we continue, you know, continue this journey together because it really, it means a lot to me. Thanks, guys. I'll let you later.